Hi, welcome to IT Knowledge Base. I am Nadeem Muhammad Ali. I am a senior Microsoft System Engineer and Information Security Consultant. Today I would like to discuss about what is Windows Sandbox and its utmost prerequisite, a brilliant benefit and how to install and use it effectively in a real scenario. Windows Sandbox is very handy when you have malicious files in your computer or laptops or received from any known or unknown sources and would like to test it in a secure machine before you get under attack. Therefore, you only require a secure testing environment. Windows Sandbox is a separate container within the OS for the execution of software in full isolation and for software testing and its security. You don't need any additional storage. It's a completely secure environment to test malware and analysis, also a smart for collaboration. Okay, what is a sandbox? Windows Sandbox provides a lightweight desktop environment to safely run applications in isolation. Software installed inside the Windows Sandbox environment remains sandboxed and runs separately from the host machine. A sandbox is temporary. When it's closed, all the software and files and the state are deleted. You get a brand new instance of the sandbox every time you open the application. Software and application installed on the host are not directly available in the sandbox. If you need a specific application available inside the Windows Sandbox environment, they must be explicitly installed within the environment. Importance of sandboxes As malware becomes more sophisticated, monitoring suspicious behavior to detect malware has become increasingly difficult. Many threats in recent years have employed advanced obfuscation techniques that can evade detection from endpoint and network security products. Sandboxing protects an organization critical infrastructure from suspicious code because it runs in a separate system. It also allows IT to test malicious code in an isolation testing environment to understand how it works as well as more rapidly detect similar attacks, similar malware attacks. Uses of Sandbox in general, a sandbox is used to test suspicious programs that may contain viruses or other malware without allowing the software to harm the host devices. Sandboxing is an important feature of the Java programming language and development environment where the sandbox is a program R and set of rules that programmers need to use when creating Java code called an applet that is sent as part of a web page. A sandbox can also enable a mirrored production environment that an external developer can use to develop an app that uses a web services from the sandbox. This enable third party developers to validate their code before migrating it to the production environment. An API sandbox is targeted at API developers and testers. It mimics the characteristics of the production environment to create simulated responses for APIs that reflect the behavior of a real system. Benefits of using Sandbox Using a Sandbox to test software changes before they go live means there are fewer problems during and after testing because the testing environment is totally separated from the production environment. Sandboxing is also great for quarantine zero-day threats that exploits unreported vulnerabilities. When threads and viruses are quarantined, cybersecurity experts can study them to identify pattern, helping to prevent future attacks and identify other network vulnerabilities. Sandboxing also complements other security programs, including behavior monitoring and virus programs. It offers added protection against certain strains of malware that an antivirus program may not detect. More advanced malware can check to see if it's running in a sandbox before executing. Example of using sandbox. Some specific examples of using a sandbox to isolate code execution include web browsers. A trusted web browser can be run inside a sandbox. Software protection. There are tools that enable users to run software they don't trust in sandboxes so that the software can't access their private data or harm their devices. Because a sandbox appears to be a complete system to the software, the software usually can't detect that it's constrained to a virtual environment. Security research. Information security professionals use sandboxes to, for research or to detect uh, malicious code. 
For instance, a security tool could visit website to monitor what files are ultimately changed or it could install and run software. Windows Defender allows user to run the antivirus software in a sandbox. Virtualization A VM is basically a type of sandbox. This approach uses a VM-based sandbox to contain and examine suspicious programs. Windows Sandbox Properties Part of Windows Everything required for this feature is included in Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise. There is no need to download a VHD virtual hard drive. Pristine Every time Windows Sandbox runs, it's as clean as a brand new solution of Windows. It is possible. Nothing persists on the device. Everything is discarded when the user closes the application. It's a secure. Uses hardware-based virtualization for kernel isolation. It relies on the Microsoft hypervisor to run a separate kernel that isolates Windows Sandbox from the host. It's efficient. Uses the integrated kernel scheduler, smart memory management and virtual GPU. Windows Sandbox prerequisites. Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise or Education, Build 18305 or Windows 11. Windows Sandbox is currently not supported on Windows Home Edition. AMD64 or Intel Architecture. Virtualization capabilities enabled in BIOS. At least 4 GB of RAM, 8 GB is recommended. 1 GB of free disk space is required. SSD is recommended. You should have at least 2 CPU cores. 4 cores with hyper-threading is recommended. Enabling virtualization. You must make sure that your device supports hardware virtualization and the feature is enabled in the BIOS or in the UEFI firmware. To check if your device supports virtualization, use these steps. Go to the command prompt and run systeminfo.exe. Under the Hyper-V requirement section, if virtualization enabled in firmware reads yes, then you can use Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox installation. Ensure that your machine is using Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise build version 18.3.0.5 or Windows 11. Enable virtualization on the machine. If you are using a physical machine, make sure virtualization capabilities are enabled in the BIOS. If or if you are using a virtual machine, run the following PowerShell command to enable nested virtualization. Use the search bar on the taskbar and type turn Windows feature on and off. To access the Windows Optional Feature tool, select Windows Sandbox and then OK. Restart the computer if you are prompted. If the Windows Sandbox option is unavailable, your computer does not meet the requirement to run Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox Usage Copy an executable file or malware file from the host and paste them into the Windows Sandbox windows. Run the executable file or installer inside the Sandbox. When you are finished experimenting, close the sandbox. A dialog box will state that all sandbox content will be discarded and permanently deleted. Select OK. Confirm that your host machine does not exhibit any of the modification that you made in Windows Sandbox. OK, now let's see in action how to activate Windows Sandbox feature. In Windows search bar, type turn Windows feature on or off and double click on it. Then select Windows Sandbox to activate this feature. In the background system, enable hypervisor. Restart is required. Press restart now to take fast effect. Windows Sandbox in action. Now let's see Windows Sandbox VM in action for malware testing and analysis. In the Windows search bar, type Windows Sandbox and double click on it. It takes couple of seconds to build the VM from very first time. Now here is your completely isolated sandbox VM in Windows 10. Now you can test any malware files fearlessly. Windows Sandbox VMs comes with pre-configured NAT, Network Address Translation and Bridge Mode settings to access the internet from your host machine. You don't have to do any tweaking to access the internet in the Windows Sandbox. Here I would like to show you, I am going to download sample malware file from the internet for the sake of testing. You can copy and paste malware file from your host machine to Windows Sandbox without any distress. Once you finish your malware testing and analysis, you can safely close your Windows Sandbox straightforward. This is a read-only Sandbox virtual machine, so don't worry about operating system crashes and maintenance.
This is a part 1 to let you understand in very simple steps how to install and use Windows Sandbox as a feature in Windows 10 Professional and Enterprise. Also discussed Windows Sandbox prerequisites and its immense benefits for testing files and security in a real production environment. In part 2 I will show you Windows Sandbox customization so you can customize it according to your scenario. Hope this video is informative and steady hands on to everyone. Home users also can take advantage of installing Windows Sandbox and stay away from any type of malware and malicious attacks. If you like this video you can feel free to share it with your colleagues and contacts. Also appreciate your feedback in the comment section.